This is an incredible moment in history. God is doing something amazing. The church is growing in a way in which it's never grown before. People are coming to Christ. Churches are being birthed and planted all over the world. There's one of the greatest revivals that the church has ever experienced. One of the greatest harvests that the church has ever experienced. God is moving in this generation in a spectacular manner. And you, you may be saying, well, hey, I don't see it where I'm at. Where is this happening? Well, let me tell you where it's happening. It's happening wherever the church has made prayer a priority. When the church begins to put prayer first, they begin to seek God before anything else, that's where it's happening. That's where revival's taking place. That's where the harvest is taking place. I, I can recall a number of years ago preaching in the National Stadium in Ethiopia, and, and oh, God moved in such a mighty way. The stadium was packed. People came to Christ. But do you know what? There were 200 men who prayed for 30 minutes and then they would leave and another 200 men would come and pray in a room for 30 minutes and then another 200 men. And for two hours, there were 800 men who prayed through that whole event and God moved <laughs> because prayer was at the, a priority. In Romania, I preached there before the revolution when Christians were suffering. And during that time of suffering, there was a great revival and there were 100 men and 100 women who were praying the whole time I was preaching. Oh, the church had prayer as a priority. You, you see, Jesus told his disciples, he said in, in Luke chapter 24 and verse 49, he said, but wait in Jerusalem for the promise of the Father. You see, he had told them to go and preach the good news of repentance and forgiveness of sin. But then he said, wait in Jerusalem. And you find the church in Acts chapter 1 waiting in Jerusalem and, and, and in a prayer meeting in one accord, one spirit. And God moved in Acts chapter 2. Peter stood and preached and 3,000 people were converted to Christ. Acts chapter 3, Peter and John are going to a prayer meeting. Acts chapter 4, the church is praying again. And you find all through the book of Acts, these prayer meetings that are taking place. Prayer was a priority in the early church. And today, where there's prayer and as, as a priority in the church, God is moving. And so in your church, in your community, among believers that you know, begin to join together and seek the face of God and watch what God will do. Make prayer a priority in your life, among your friends, and in your church.